Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. CK Danger Song. Uh, it is a happy Thanksgiving. A lot of reasons to be thankful. Uh, just happened to be, I had a very special one for you today, okay? Very special one, because I've got, I've got a couple of them. But the one I was going to release for today is uh, really special. Uh, you read about it in books. This would be great for any controller, beginning controller, intermediate controller, advanced, pro level, elite controller, or even the next level. Dice hacking. It's the next level, guys. You know what I mean? Just got to put it out there. It's the next level for you guys. And dice hacking, what that is, is craps hacking. Is if it's just essentially manipulating, knowing how to manipulate the game all the way around. I mean, not that you are perfect, that you're you know never going to not seven out. That's not what we're talking about. And what we're talking about is like actual manipulation of this game. You know what I mean? Fuck the odds, changing the game of craps. You guys always hear me say that in my intros because we are changing the game of craps. This is the next level, guys. And this is just an intro. Okay? I'm not shooting nothing long. This is just an intro. Craps hacking. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is a special Thanksgiving transmission for one. Hoping you're having a lovely Thanksgiving. Hope everything's working out for you. Hopefully, if you're rolling them bones, your sessions are going well. If you're at the casino, just happen to be at the casino today, I am mad at you. Hopefully, you're banging them out. That's what we're here for. The casino's the job. We gonna put in the work. So we'll be going into this craps hacking a little bit more uh, later on in uh, our live stream. And I want to apologize for uh, not having a live stream. Thinking about rocking it out tomorrow. Uh, but we got a couple things we want to talk about. We want to definitely go into this craps hacking thing because there aren't many craps hackers. There are more dice controllers. That's an eight. That's a point. There are more dice controllers out there than uh, dice craps hackers. Okay. Now, hacking. You just gotta think of a hacker. You know what I mean? Just think of a hacker, guys. What's a hacker do? They break into systems. They they find exploits. Okay, some people will call them advantaged. You know other things. But I just use names and uh, stuff that you know appeals more to what I think. Cause I, I really look at this more of a, a hacking kind of situation. You know what I mean? Cause you're not just throwing the dice. I mean I'm not just throwing the dice anymore. You know I'm moving the dice around. I've got something to show you. I got a lot of shit to show you. I can't show you right now. You know what I mean? I got a lot of stuff to show you. And, um, uh, you know, I've been going into this thing about hiding your skill, your skill level, you know, because at first you want everyone to know that you're sweet and all the happy stuff and that's all great. But then as you're, you progress and you get to a certain level, you really are, well, at least me, you know, just because of what I've seen happen to, uh, some of the greats, uh, before me, rather not get involved with that. So, you know, that's that. But, um... You know, like bone thrower and things like that. You had other people being kicked out of casinos and all this stuff. But this is just an intro. Dice hacking to this video. And uh, makes a little, the video a little bit longer. But um, dice hacking to um, just get straight to the point. Um, it's going in the casino and not looking like who you are. Okay? You're not going in the casino trying to land your dice in the same spot every time. Because you're a dice hacker. You're a craps hacker. So you're going to probably go in there, and you're going to probably move your dice around, you know, if you're just going to be in there. I'm just I'm just showing you one way of manipulating. You could throw your dice in the same spot and all that. That's great. But what I'm talking about is this is a form of the manipulation I'm talking about, craps hacking. When you can go in, and you know you can make money hitting your spot, throwing into the bowl, going right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, throwing it across. Just throw it across, work it across. Then go back and work it across, kind of like a windshield, and you're going clockwise. You see what I'm saying? You're going one, two, three, four, five. Go back one, 
two, three. See, so that way you're throwing them off. Hey, that's craps hacking, guys. That's craps hacking. I'm launching on you on Thanksgiving. Hope you have an excellent Thanksgiving. CK, Dangerous Arm Craps. You got an eight. Hulk. Right here on that one. Right here on that one. Right here on the triple eight, guys. Triple eight. Hey, seem to be banging the mates, huh? Oh, what did you see this video? Ooh, you're going to love this. Hey, guys, let me know how you feel about this video. This is an inspiration video to anybody who wants to be a banger on these dice, man. I'm not shitting you. You wait and see. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody. Thanks to everyone putting out videos today, by the way. You know, we didn't. you didn't have to do that. I uh, want to uh, give a special shout-out to uh, Bone Thrower. Appreciate that. Uh, he put one out today. Uh, scene where, uh, oh boy, don't get at me. Don't bite my head off, Wolf. Shit. Crypto. Seen Crypto out there. I've seen you, Crypto. He's out there doing it. Say so he just missed his bonus today. You know, he's a, you know, he's a beast himself. Um, so we appreciate those guys putting out videos. I don't know anyone else that put a video out today. And if you did and I missed you, sorry about that. But uh, I want to give a shout out because we appreciate seeing those videos uh, on Thanksgiving. We know you didn't have to. On your uh, day of giving thanks. Appreciate that, guys. We'll see you next time. Dangerous arm craps. Enjoy the video, guys. We'll see you on the other side. Dangerous arm craps. Dice game. Crap strategies. Okay, we got everything set up. We're on five, four, three, two. Dice set. Let's one go five, four, three, five, but. Dice hacking, guys. We're working it. Oh, well, five. Ah. We got ten dollar five. Got ten dollar five down there. It's gonna pay us uh, fourteen. We'll take fifteen. Give him the one. You know what we do? We'll press that up. Press it up. We're rolling. Dice hacking. Now we really don't want them to. You know, no, you know, we want to try to, you know, keep it looking like we're just some kind of flock, you know what I mean? Three, dudes, five. That was a point right there. So we got a Cadillac on that. We just got that right there. A little back to backer, that'll work. A little back to backer. A little Cadillac back to backer. $25 uh, five. So we'll pay us uh, 35 Right there. We'll change that 25. This one. Go up to 60 on that. Nice little Cadillac point. Okay. We're going to come out roll. We're working it. Yeah, so we're just, you know, we're throwing a couple of different ways, you'll notice. A couple of different areas, a couple of different ways. Oh, one, five. I mean, we're we're out on that one, aren't we? At least, you know, we just banged him in the head. Okay, sixty dollar five. Eighty four. Three in a row. So point again. What was that? Uh, one forty-five on the five. One forty-five on the five. <clears throat> Dice hacking. Okay, we got a twelve dollar eight. It's gonna pay us fourteen on that one. Take uh, fifteen. Get back the change. One there. We will move that up to thirty. Three, two, 
Jones. Oh man, you guys gotta blow this bitch up. You gotta love it, man. Murder. They used to call me Murder Mac back in the days when I was real crazy. Not because I did anything anymore, but jeez. That was two points on that piece, so we've got a whopping 4, 1, 25, 35, $145 five, guys. And that's just our day right there. $145 five. Hmm. Two oh three. Two oh three. Two oh three. That's what it looks like to me. Let's see here, let's see, hundred and forty five. Twenty five, thirty five, forty five. Yep. Twenty nine. Twenty seven. Two oh three. Yep. So two oh three right there, guys. You just seen it. Big ripper. Big money fast. Okay, now with that one, we will pull these monies down, break that down. At that point, you could actually just stay up there. And just, oh shit, you know, I wouldn't even pay my pass line, man. Damn it. That's two pass lines I missed, by the way. It's two points. Oops. I didn't realize that, guys. You didn't tell me at the house. You didn't tell me, guys. What the heck? Okay, so. Maybe those fives. So you can actually go down now. I mean, because you're up. You start with 100. That's your 100 right there, and you're up on them right now quite nicely. Yeah, and it can be really, could start to get a beat, be a beat up session here. Okay, we are not working this one. We are not working this one. Isn't that something? Jeez. Unbelievable amount of fives right here, guys. So, but, you know, you want to disguise your role, man. I'm just really throwing those out there. You know what I mean? You want to disguise your role uh, on this one? That's what you really want to do. You know, you don't... That's why I keep picking them up and throwing them a little bit different uh, each time. You know, each time I'm picking them up, throwing them different. Three. <laughs> oh my god. Three, deuce, five. So that's another point, right? I, mean, I just hit the point. So I got the point. Five. Yeah. And so now, yeah, because I was coming out, so I had another five. Holy moly, man. Whoo, boy. So you guys have seen it right here. Really crazy, dangerous arm right here, man. I might have to put this one out quick for you. Uh, $10. We got a pass on right there. $10, uh, five. Should have kept that press, man. We would have fucking macked them, wouldn't we? Oh my gosh, but we already macked him, so you can't get greedy, guy. You can't get greedy. Pull your money down. Pull your money down. You're killing him. You're doing good. We'll take 15 on that, okay? We'll take 15. We'll take 15 in the ham sandwich. Give him back one on that. Whew. That's another point right there. Third point? I'm hoping I'm doing that right right there. Nice. So we've thrown, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls, five of them are, uh, two, four, six of them are, uh, fives, what the heck, that's freaky, man, so, but yeah, this, this video, you know, it wasn't going to be long, and we're only going to shoot, like, ten, we're not working it, we're only going to shoot, like, ten anyway on this one, you know, four, one, five, Dude, you know, I can't, I mean, whatever, man. It's just the freakiest fucking roll ever right here, man. Oh, my gosh. This freaky, freaky, freaky shit right here, man. Jeez, homie. Freaky, freaky shit. It doesn't matter what happened, man. It's just totally, this roll is totally sick. It's totally sick, man. You ever seen anyone do that shit, guys? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. It's the real shit I'm talking about, man. Mean bullshitting over here. Our money's off on this. Our money's off. Money's off. No reason to dick around. It's okay. Nope. Okay. 
Okay, so we finally do something other than five. We hit a yo. Five, four, three, two. That's what we did. Just banged them out real quick. You know, Biggie. Just banged them out. We just wanted to get a couple rolls in. You know what I mean? We wouldn't, you know what I mean? Uh, this is really, this video is just really about craps hacking. Um, uh, you know, hacking the game of craps. This is hacking the game of craps right here, guys. No one to pull your money down. No one to pull your money down. Okay? Can't pull your, uh, your place bet or your, um, your uh, pass line down, that's okay, I'm not sweating that, but Dewey's fucking made a killing on them bastards, man, you know what I mean, just super fast, I mean, super fast, that's what I'm saying, man, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to show my ass, man, I don't want to show my ass, I'm not like that, it just makes me think of my mom, bless her soul, bless her soul, you know, you know, she's in heaven now, uh, you know what I mean, I remember her, used to talk about you not showing your ass, you know what I mean, wearing out, you're welcome, so, and uh, I try to carry those principles on with me. I think that's like 10 rolls there, guys. That's how I was going to roll anyway. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years. So, sorry, but it just is what it is, man. You know what I mean? I'm just going to, you know, stew on these uh, sweet juices. You know, that nice little, you know, 10 roll right there. You know, because I don't need to come on here and roll these big rolls anyway, man. I mean, you guys already get the point. You know, I want to really start drilling into, you know, uh, this... Um, Hacking craps thing, you know what I mean? Hacking craps, and I mean that because hacking craps. Well, that's three points, by the way. Tim rolls three points, uh, three, six, what, seven fives. It's totally sick. Totally, that's <laughs> just totally sick rolling, dude. You guys seen it? Unbelievable. Shit, you seen? You reading the books? You seen it right here? So, but um, and we're you know doing two different rolls on that, by the way. You, you guys seen? We're, you know, picking it up, throwing it, and then we're, you know, set, boom, throwing it like that. Old school. Old school like that. You know what I mean? Just throwing it out there. So, you know, working two different spots on there. You know, I had two different spots, and it was going to work. So, but, um, you know, everything's predetermined. You know, we make it look like it's random. But right there was killer. I mean, that was killer. Let's find out what we made. 200, let's see. We start with 100. Right there. And that was super fast, too. I mean, you've seen it. It's not always going to be like that, but, you know, when you're, you know, craps hacker like myself, yeah, yeah, it's going to be like that, though. fellas okay bank that was our bank right there one two three seventy five eighty five eight six eight seven you know and we could have still beat them up even more that's ten rolls man Ten rolls, starting off with just minimum, minimum ten dollar bets, you know, min bets. So that's what I'm saying about craps hacking, guys. You know, wasn't trying to come on here and you know whatever bloviate or nothing. This isn't what that is about, but it's about knowing your game and knowing how good you really are. No one's gonna tell you or let you know how good you are. Okay, you gotta let you you gotta know yourself and let and be honest with yourself, and you know. Let yourself know, you know, like analyze your game, you know, that's why I originally started, you know, doing videos I was doing videos before I was doing videos on YouTube, see what I mean? But, uh, they're really, really shitty videos, I mean, you know, I mean, uh, they were showing, showing me my whole body throwing and things like that And, you know, because I wasn't on film, 
you know. Um, but there's other ones where it doesn't show me. It just shows me throwing, you know, throwing into the little box that I had, little rig set up. So, um, this is just a bonus, man. So I wanted to, that's what I want to talk to you about was just scraps hacking. You know, it's just knowing how good you are and getting to that point. It's not just dice control. Obviously, you guys see I have dice control. You know what I mean? But this is different shit right here. This is more than dice control. You know what I mean? This is this is next level. You know, it's next level stuff, and it happens. I'm glad it finally happened on video. You know, um, just is the way it is, man. You know, it is the way it is. Uh, you know, you have to work hours and hours, guys. A lot of hours, a lot of hours. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? To get, you know, get to uh, this kind of level. I used to read about people that, you know, would throw numbers in a row and all that stuff, and you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, and then. You know, you start doing it yourself, you're like, oh, shit, wow. You know, but I've been doing it for a small minute now. That's where my game's at is. <clears throat> I'm sorry if it seems like I'm mumbling. Um, yeah, I throw numbers, man. That's why I said 10 rolls. That's why I'm going to come on here and be showing you fast money. 10 rolls. By the way, thanks for checking out our other videos, guys. That was pretty slick. That one uh, looks like you guys like that one, How to Win. Uh, craps. Uh make money fast or uh the hundred to four fifty like that now this was in 10 rolls though this wasn't a double session this is in one little session just 10 rolls you know uh big money how much is that one two three three eight seven so we're almost at 400 on that profit profit four times what we started with 100 bucks guys and it's real, man. This, I mean, this goes on, you know. Um, a guy like myself, I need more casinos. I have to be smart with my skill, you know what I mean? So I'm talking about disguising it. You know, I'd rather not have to drive far away, things like that. But, you know, I'm going to be putting together a little package, you know, this little kind of tour package, we'll say. You know, I'm going to be, you know, this little tour package, we'll just say, call it. Um, you know, get things mapped out. You know, I got to, like, branch out. So we have a couple here. I don't know about how you guys do it, but you know, I know it feels good when you first start winning. You're like, oh yeah, take them for four or five hundred, whatever, twelve hundred, whatever it might be, a couple thousand, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, gets you going, uh, works for you. Uh I don't know, man. You know, at first when you you know you're not good, it just seems like you know, you want to show that you're good. You know what I mean? Then once you get, you know, where it's not that you're good, it's like you're well trained and well skilled. You, uh, to me, I, I've wanted to hide it, you know, especially after what happened to Bone Thrower with the, you know, uh, the live, the live, uh, crafts and things like that. So, you know, I've always been low key anyway, never show my face and all that stuff, you know, or I'd have something on where you're not, you know what I mean, you know, be able to, uh, make out who it is. So, but, um, hope this thing don't cut off, doesn't cut off, but I'm just trying to rap at you, you know, this crap hack, hacking, craps hacking thing, you know, where you can throw multiple grips, you know, in a session or not in a session, whatever, you know, move your dice all around, not just you have to throw the same spot every time, because that's more of a beginner dice, dice control, you know what I mean, where you're learning to hit the same spot every time, I'm, I'm way past that, man, you know, I can hit wherever I want to hit, you know, like nine out of ten times, I mean, you've seen it, you know how it goes, and when you start getting that kind of shit going, that's what I'm saying, when you're starting to crap hack. You know what I mean? Because now you're like, okay, I want to disguise it. What do I do uh, uh, to disguise my throw? Okay, well, I have to throw multiple throws to look like a floppy. So that's why I was kind of throwing those and not trying to take long to, you know, do it. You know, maybe set the dice up and then just, you know, let them rip, but not really, you know, take my time and really get my hands, like, strapped in there like I'm getting ready for a bull ride, you know, just getting them, you know, ready to make sure I got everything like I normally would. Like you normally would, you know what I mean? And you normally want to do that. But this is craps hacking, next level, you know, next level dice control. Okay, it's the next level dice control where you're actually you're you're pretty much mastering the dice. You know what I mean? You're mastering the dice. You, know, you can throw multiple throws and you can still win your money, no problem. You know your throws aren't always going to be long with different throws, and that's understandable. You know what I mean? Because you have different sets and different ways and means to throw the dice for longer throws. See, I already told you I'm not into throwing 
the big roles unless I'm out of town. I'm just banging and banging and banging. But really, I just want to get in out. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Because you, I mean, shit, man. I mean, we made that money real fast. You see what I'm saying? When you can do this here, right here, you don't want to, you know what I mean? You don't want to show them over and over at the casino that you can do this, okay? That's what I'm saying. It's dice hacking. And you guys have seen me over and over hitting the triple eights over and over here lately, ridiculously, whatever, on video with the chips. So it doesn't matter. You know, doing the casino, do it at home, it don't mean shit. You know what I mean? That's dice hacking. It doesn't matter. Hard table, soft table, it doesn't matter. Because you know how to adjust, okay? You know how to adjust. It's like, it's almost like becoming, like, yeah, like a master, like a dice master. You know, it's like, not that you have arrived or anything like that, but it's like becoming a dice master. You understand what I'm saying? Like a, like a samurai or something, you've really achieved some shit here. So, I'm just putting that out there to you guys, and uh, we'll be talking more about that. So, no, uh, some people might be like, oh, he's obvious rocker. Yeah, and well, you know, hey, you probably used to think that as well, but then been getting the goodies too, see? So, you know, hey, you know, what are you going to do? You start making money, your game became consistent, you start filing down your, your fingertips because you understood you wanted your fingers to be as smooth as, as a baby, so the, uh, you know, so the dice will, you know, uh, have less, uh, resistance, you know, when they come out of your, your hand, you know, less, uh, skin holding it back, you know, like calluses and things like that, you know, because it makes a difference, you know, you guys know, but that's dice hacking, I'm just putting it out there, guys, um, we'll probably be bringing it up at the live stream, uh, because I have a lot more, you know, I wish I could have got on earlier when I was really, you know, thinking about it more. Uh, so I was sitting there just thinking, like, damn, man, dice hacking. You know what I mean? That's that's where it's at now. You know, because it's like, it's not about anymore. It's not like, because oh, at first for me personally, it was like, okay, you got proved to yourself, that kind of thing, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever, all that shit. And, and, you know, it ain't about proving shit now. I mean, it's just like, dude, it's on. You know what I mean? It's like, how can I hide this shit? You know what I mean? Because it's scary. I mean, you guys hear me always talk about that. You know what I mean? So I'm not making this shit up. You know what I mean? You know I'm for real. You know what I mean? You see the rolls. Uh, it's dice hacking. You know, craps hacking. You know, so I'll try to... I'll get into it more and more, but uh, I'm not going to want to talk about too much because I don't really want it to get out there too much, too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, just keep it between us. I mean, that's the next level of dice control, guys. That's dice hacking. DH. You got DC, then DH. So you got dice control, then you move up to, to a DH, you know. Uh, dice hacker, mean, meaning, you know, like, that's like the highest level I know right now. So I thought it was dice control right where, but it's like levels of dice control. You know what I mean? This is like above, because you're like doing other shit. You know what I mean? You got to like really be smart. It's like beyond dice control. You know what I mean? Because you have dice control. Now it's more of a manipulation process of manipulating the crowd, the crew, who you're around. That's why I don't want to go in this too much. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be disguising your shit, you know what I mean, you're going to be hiding your shit, and you don't want no one to see it, so, this thing's going to cut off, so, but, um, you're going to be hiding it, and, uh, I'll go into it a little bit more, guys, but you're going to be hiding your shit, and, uh, you want to stay hidden, man.